They will have to apply the national security legislation at the behest of the authorities in Beijing, which is directly violating, undermining the freedom of the people of Hong Kong. And, in, and, and I understand in the case of Mr. Perry, in relation to the pro-democracy activists. And of course, from Beijing's point of view, this would be a serious PR coup. There's no doubt in my mind that under the bar code of ethics, uh, a case like this could be resisted. Um, and frankly, I think people watching this would regard it as pretty mercenary to be taking up that kind of case. We brought through forward a series of measures. I think we're, along with a couple of other countries, uh, uh, leading the way in doing this to make sure in a targeted way, uh, we don't have any British businesses that are either supplying to or, or profiting from the internment camps. I think it's a shocking, truly uh, shocking uh, set of circumstances in Xinjiang against the Uyghur Muslims. We've led in the all the international organisations, we led in the third committee of the UN, I think it was 38 countries that followed our lead in criticising and condemning the human rights abuses in Xinjiang, but also in Hong Kong. And we're leading by example with these measures to prevent UK supply chains either contributing to or profiting from this appalling uh, situation in the internment camps that you describe. It's appalling and it's shocking in uh, the modern world in a leading member of the international community. And no, this isn't enough. What China says is this is all lies cooked up uh, by the West, uh, Britain and leading member amongst them. And what we say is, if you dispute the allegations and the claims and the reports, there's a simple way to clear this up. Allow the UN Human Rights Commissioner to visit and access and see these sites. And we are pushing for an authoritative third party like the Human Rights, the, the, the High Commissioner for Human Rights uh, at the UN to conduct uh, that visit. And that is the straightforward way if China denies these allegations, then they can be verified. Uh, and so we are leading from the front, not just in the supply chain measures, the condemnation of the words you described, but also pushing to get the action at the international level, which is where it's most effective, to uh, get uh, proper transparency and then to get the accountability that I agree we need. I think it's, uh, it's for a court to decide whether the very uh, complex definition of genocide is met, but what is clear, frankly, whatever the legal label that you put on it, is that there are convincing uh, and persuasive uh, third party authoritative reports of serious violations of human rights uh, on an appalling industrial scale.